Don't worry. Tuesday. At school today, I was really bored. A few months ago, the school installed Go Guardian on all of the school Chromebooks, so I couldn't play Twisted Wizard online anymore. During second period, a guy with a Sonic the Hedgehog shirt whispered at me, so I naturally turned around to tell him to shut up. But I saw that he had somehow bypassed Go Guardian and was playing Sonic Advance 2 on the Chromebooks. I was amazed. And he said that he would download it on my Chromebook in exchange for getting everyone in the grade to join his Sonic fan group. I naturally agreed, but the second I get whatever he has, I'm getting the heck out of the group. Wednesday. Today I convinced two of the teachers and 11 students to join the group. It was pretty easy, because in late November, Mr. Davis was drunk driving while taking most of the teachers home. As a result, most of the faculty became either dead, crippled, or retired, causing us to get new teachers, most of them having grown up with Sonic. During lunch, the kid with the Sonic shirt sat down next to me and Rowley, who I forgot to recruit to the group. He convinced Rowley to join the group. Rowley, do you want to join us? He also gave me and Rowley brand new iPhones. I never had a phone for more than a week, so it was very cool. He also asked us what kind of computers we had. Rowley only had a DS, so he got a dozen Sonic games. I had a Mac, so the guy gave me a disc with two Sonic racing games. Thursday. Today, all 13 members of the group, including me, met up at McDonald's nearby Worley Street. There we were given a task. We need to infiltrate the student council. Rowley was already social chairperson, so we already had one mole in the council, but there needs to be five people for a majority's vote. Luckily, the elections are coming up in a week, so we don't need to wait long. Also, the Sonic shirt guy's name is Jacob, and Jacob will run for president, while Shirag Gupta, who joined our group yesterday, will run for treasurer. Rowley's going to run for a second term as social chairperson, and since Vice Principal Roy was a victim of the car crash, I can finally run for treasurer again. Everything's going great, but as treasurer, I'll have to embezzle funds to the group. Now named Team Shuffle, so we can afford Chromebook development research. If I get caught, I'll go to prison. This might be a mistake. Friday. Today, Jacob somehow knew that my pencil was broken, and he gave me a Sonic-themed one. Which is weird because I've never seen Jacob outside of school. He also gave me Sonic Freeriders for the Kinect, even though I've never used that thing since last winter. Mom loves it though. For some reason, she thinks the remote control is a controller for the Xbox. Anyways, since Jacob probably keeps tabs on everyone in Team Shuffle, there is no way I'll be able to properly leave the team. Jacob's biggest competitors are led by Abigail Brown, Rowley's ex-girlfriend. Upon learning this, Rowley vowed to help defeat her in every way imaginable. Also, Jacob gave nearly everyone Flash games in exchange for allegiance. It's becoming more likely that I'll end up in jail each day. Monday. The plan has changed a lot over the weekend. Shirag is now going for vice president, so I'll actually be treasurer. Rowley has gone a little crazy since Friday. He has bought a new video game console and has decided to get the drama teacher, who is a Sonic fan, to get the school to reenact Sonic in Sydney from 1996. I have no idea what's it about. Tuesday. Today in drama, the teacher made us listen to all Sonic in Sydney and had us reenact lines. The election ballots are arriving tomorrow and things aren't feeling good. Also, Roderick and the rest of Loaded Diaper have been recruited into Team Shuffle, and since that happened, their skills improved significantly. It's like not making your own songs improves your skills. Gotta go fast! Wednesday. So, ballots are in. We won. This is really, really bad. <laughs> I have two options. I can leave Team Shuffle and be disowned by mom and dad, or embezzle funds and have a chance of going to jail. I'd rather not starve to death, so I have no option but to go with option two. Thursday. It's Thursday, so it's time for the weekly Team Shuffle meeting. This time we went to a Build-A-Bear store for no reason other for Jacob to get his own Sonic plushie. During class, Jacob gave me the app. 
the entire experience was so good that I'm back to supporting Team Shuffle. Also, Jacob announced that we had finished Phase 1 of his plan. Phase 2 is so complicated that I'll put it on the next page. The plan is to essentially take over every aspect of the school. Sure, we have control of the student council, but all we can really do with it is cause extreme corruption within the entire school. Rowley had decided to sacrifice Zooey Mama and replace it with reprints of an ancient Sonic comic strip. The Sonic in Sydney thing will be finished by the end of April. Loaded Diaper has convinced some of the high school to help Jacob. And Jacob has installed malware onto computers of every teacher that wouldn't comply. Things aren't looking good. April. Thursday. Man, it's been nearly a month and I finally fixed this thing. Immediately after I finished writing in last time, Manny stole my journal and tore it into bits and pieces. It took nearly a month, but I recreated it, bit by bit. Mom and Dad didn't do anything about it, and the cover was unsalvageable. So I stuffed the pages in inside of a Sega Mega Drive cardboard box, and he said the name of the book, roll credits. Friday. Since nothing eventful happened today, I'll go through what happened in the past three weeks. Rowley has calmed down most of his extreme anger. Jacob has renamed Team Shuffle to Team Sonic and grew it to 127 members. The Sonic in Sydney musical will start Monday. Sonic Schoolhouse became a required part of the school curriculum and Dad was fired for playing Sonic games at work. Monday. Today, Sonic in Sydney premiered. It was everything I imagined it to be. It was really bad and Rowley's acting was fucking awful. It's so bad that I don't want to draw it at all. So here's some flowers. For some reason, everyone else loved it and Rowley and Chirag went to Broadway for the next month. At least I'll get some recognition from the tabloids. Tuesday. Today... I was kidnapped and taken to the headquarters of the local tabloid. They essentially asked me questions about Rowley. When I finished, they paid me $100. When I was taken back to school, I bragged about it for the rest of the day. But when I got home and googled my name, as I always do, I saw this. Wednesday. Today, everyone was shooting me dirty looks. And at recess, a bunch of Team Sonic members chased me across the playground. Get him! It seems that a lot of people have seen the tabloid, and now everyone hates me. I should do what every celebrity has done when slandered, go into hiding. However, however, Dad has said that I would be weak for doing that, so I'll have to deal with it. Thursday. Today went by as usual. Today at lunch, some people sat down next to me and apologized because they thought it out and realized that I would never say anything like that. We're, We're sorry, sorry Greg. Greg. Considering that the last time I saw Holly Hill, she mistook me for Fregly, her new treatment of me is pretty nice. Also, Raleigh's Broadway debut flopped, so he's coming back tomorrow. Friday. Today, I was taken in for questioning because I was forced to embezzle $6,231.99 from the school in order to not be in fear of assault and other stuff. I managed to talk my way out of a lie detector, and I managed to hang out with Rowley when he arrived back from New York. Rah! May. Saturday. Today I obtained a paper from the school. Paper, I saw this. First, they infiltrate the student council. Then, they extend the school year by two weeks. Good thing that I'm leaving next year. Monday. Today, the school blocked the Chrome web store. Stopping Jacob's plan of getting people to pay for the emulator. Jacob is pretty pissed and he might lose control of the school. Tuesday. During science class, Jacob showed everyone that he had gotten around the Chrome app block and could now play DS games. Due to the fact that people could now play other games on their Chromebooks, Jacob became ultra mega popular with everyone except me and Rowley. Wednesday. In math today, the school made everyone play Sonic Schoolhouse. I don't think I'll be able to visualize what it looked like exactly with a single pen. So here's an approximation. Strange, isn't it? Also, literacy was mostly reading Sonic comics. Drama was entirely acted out transcripts. And the school lunch was a chili dog. 
Thursday. Today was a half day for no reason at all. But during that half day, Jacob got half of the school to join a line chat session thing just so he could show off the sonic emojis for the site that he bought. You need a phone to sign up for line, so that might be the reason why Jacob gave me a phone. Friday. During lunch, I realized Jacob looks a lot like Albert Sandy. It's really weird. Anyways, after that realization, I decided to put my grudges aside and try the OG Sonic. It wasn't that good, but since I didn't pay for it, everything was fine. Friday. Oh god, what have I done? I was arrested today for pirating Sonic 1, and I'll be in jail for who knows how long. I'll have to poop in front of a camera, and even worse, Sunday. Today, someone bailed me out. When I arrived home, mom and dad were happy that I was back, but they didn't send the bail. Who knows who did it? Monday. Today, since my only criminal charge was piracy of a $1 game, I was free to go with no consequences. Nobody really cared a lot about it either, so I was able to carry on as usual. Long time no see, Greg. Nigga, you are so unfunny. Also, today Jacob announced his plan to make Sonic playable on everything. It's weird. Tuesday. Today I saw Jacob playing Sonic 1 on a thermostat. He really went all loud on it. And he even connected a controller to it. Also, this week the school is holding a Sonic themed science fair instead of the usual one. Weird, but all I have to do now is play a few Sonic games for an A+. Wednesday. Today we were all given Leapsters and a small card labeled Sonic X. I don't like where this is going. Also, we were given PDAs in ELA with the 8-bit Sonic 1 installed on it. I only know this because of Jacob. Anyways, during lunch, Albert Sandy talked about imposters posing as regular people. Which is really creepy. Who knows what people actually are behind our back. During recess, I did absolutely nothing. I, I don't know why I mentioned it here. Thursday. Today is the weekly Team Shuffle, I mean Team Sonic meeting. It's also the first meeting I've recorded in here for a month. We met in the cafeteria because the chili dogs are actually good. Anyways, Jacob voiced his extreme displeasure towards TikTokers and his ultimate plan. To create a gun that only affects TikTokers and use it on all of the city. He bailed me out to gain my trust and he has the smart kids making it for him. This is really bad. Friday. Today I tried to warn everyone about Jacob's evil plan, but nobody believed me. I eventually gave up by lunch. <sighs> Jacob tried to hack my music player today. He actually jailbreak my phone. What a jerk. He's evil. Today we had a school assembly, not a normal assembly, a literal assembly. We had to compile the data for Sonic Advance and make it work on a 1495 IKEA smart lamp. It was hard, but after 20 and a half hours, I did it. Friday, Saturday, no Sunday. I think that the act of porting Sonic Advance to a smart lamp has taken its toll. I think it's Saturday, but I have no idea how long I was out. Okay, so it's actually Sunday. And I've been asleep for nearly 96 hours. I always write the day of the week on my journal before going to school, so that's how I figured it out. Monday. I'm an idiot. Jacob was actually kidding about making a TikToker killer, because that would be impossible. Also, in literacy, the PDAs were making a really weird sound that put everyone but me in a trance. You actually believe that? Anyways, Dad was hired yesterday to work on a thing called the emulator for my new game console. He needs to figure out how it works, so I can't use it anymore. Well, that sucks. Monday. Today, the school announced that they would replace the gym with a Sonic-themed area. With a beach, some green hills, a chemical plant, and even marble gardens. It's pretty cool, but they haven't shown anything of it. So I just imagined it. The school doesn't have infinite money, so they'll eventually run out soon.
Tuesday. Today was the Sonic Fair. My project was the IKEA smart lamp. A lot of people did the same thing, so they had to redo their projects. Jacob's project was his Chromebook, which he rigged to play over three dozen Sonic games. Rowley's project was the Sonic in Sydney thing from last month, and it sucked. Alex Aruda won second place in the Sonic Fair by doing something that allowed him to play Sonic Unleashed for the Xbox. Wednesday. Today everyone but me and a few others were tired because of the Sonic Fair. I finished my project on Friday or Saturday, so I didn't need to put that much effort. Everyone blames Jacob for it, so he's became less popular. But if they try to beat him up or something, he'll just end the games for the Chromebooks forever. Also, a kid named John joined school today. I think I'll try to become his friend tomorrow. Thursday. Today I spoke to John. He used to go to the same school as Jacob, and everyone at his old school knew how to do the thing Jacob did with the Chromebooks. John likes to make things run a game called Dune. John created the way that Jacob plays Sonic games on a Chromebook so that he could run Doom on the school's Chromebooks. Jacob stole his work and tried to pass it off as his own, trying to become very popular. When John called him out for it, Jacob left for Westmore to try his plan with no interference. That's a huge reveal, and I could use this to take over Jacob's place and credit John to not seem like a jerk. Also, apparently John figured out how to hack the thermostat, not Jacob. Friday. Today, I laid the groundwork for my plan. Firstly, I told Rowley about it and he trusted me. Next, John proved he wasn't lying to the math class by running Doom on everyone's phone. A girl's iPod, a typewriter, the teacher's MacBook, my iMac, the TV, Roger's guitar, Manny's portable potty, and Rowley's DS. That act was so cool and technically impossible that half of the school believed John, with the other half still being loyal to Jacob. Also, Doom is a very controversial and violent game, so that might be the reason why, th why that many people are loyal to Jacob. Saturday. I'm currently, wa I'm currently writing this on Sunday, because yesterday was crazy. Yesterday? I woke up and Jacob was staring right at me. He had gone through all 17 of my journals and he said before he left, Why, Greg? Honestly, after that incident? I don't know. Sunday. Because of Jacob, everyone thought that I had finally became a Sonic fan, so I was given a Sonic game for my game console. Monday. Today is the last day of May. And there's only two weeks left in the school year. John's competition with Jacob has devolved into them getting their game of choice on every electronic device in the school. June. Tuesday. Today the school opened up the Sonic themed area. It was pretty fun running around the place. Anyways, today I wasn't able to embezzle funds because my school has ran out of money. That means that I can finally go to the McDonald's Middle School where they serve chicken McNuggets every day, once the school year ends. Wednesday. Today, the school started to cut costs. First, they sold most of the really bad kids to an iPhone factory in Asia. That's gotta be racist, there's no way. Next, they ended the student council. Before I had to go, I took three quarters of the school's remaining money. Anyways, John's electronic scanner has found one device that hasn't ran Doom or Sonic, so when they find that device, it'll be over. Thursday. Today was the day of the final Team Sonic meeting. Jacob's plan is done, so there's no reason for the group to exist anymore. Jacob berated me for teaming up with John, and after that, it was finally over. It took three months for me to get what I wanted, and I finally got the hell out of there. You bastard! There's only six more days of school, and I can't wait for it to end. Friday. Today, Rowley started making Zooey Mama comics again. Also, the school canceled the Sonic event on the 23rd because they no longer had the funds. Anyways, the school hasn't sold off the Chromebooks yet, so Jacob and John still have one more device left. 
I don't even know what it is. Monday. Man, Jacob is a douche. Today he sold my secrets for $5. I'll get him for this. I'm gonna figure out how to hire Hitman so that I don't have to kill him myself. Wow, that escalated quickly. Tuesday. After school, something weird happened. As I was walking home from school, John and Jacob chased me. It turns out that the final device was the ballpoint pen that I am using to write this. It has a processor that helps it not to spill. And John ran Doom on it first, concluding the competition. Wednesday. Today, John celebrated winning the competition, and Jacob decided to host the Sonic event himself. He's even hiring a guy to drive a gun truck. I'm gonna stay at home though. Thursday. Before I went to school today, I saw Manny reading Dork Diaries. What a plooby. If somebody found him reading that, he'd be dead in mere seconds. Anyways, today is the second to last day of school, and most of the teachers were arrested for corruption. Also, Rowley is mad that Jacob caused him to have to stop publishing Zooey Mama. So me, him, and a lot of people who are mad at him are gonna get revenge. Friday. Today was the last day of school. During the day, we planned out when we were gonna get revenge on Jacob. A lot of people are in the group. There's me, Rowley, John, Holly, and around 10 more. We decided to strike on the day where he would be very unprepared which would be June 23rd. I'll not update this until I'm done. July, Friday. Things did not go as planned. When we went to the Sonic event waiting to attack Jacob, we did just that, but we completely forgot about the gun truck. Holly! I shoved Holly out of the way, but nearly everyone else wasn't as lucky. John, Jacob, and a lot of other people there were crushed to death by the truck. While me and Rowley sustained major injuries, only Holly and two others had minor injuries. That incident put me in a coma for three weeks, until I finally woke up on Wednesday. Rowley still hasn't woken up. At least I was able to win Holly over, but I didn't want it to happen like this. Sunday. Me and Holly sat by Rowley's side for two days, but he woke up today. I'm really happy that he's back. August. Monday. This summer break has been very, very gruesome. But me, Rowley, and Holly have been accepted into McDonald's Middle School. Things are finally looking up. Also, John didn't die. He was just extremely injured and now is in a really, really heavy coma. I hope that he'll come out of it someday. This school year went seriously off track, and it feels like I'm in a sitcom that jumped the shark.